We're going to have uh, some of the very best uh, sports facilities uh, in the United States. Lawson Holland has a vested interest in sports tourism succeeding on the Grand Strand. He teaches it at Ori Georgetown Technical College. So we're giving the students opportunity to start their internships early on in their careers. But Holland can't do it alone. So he organized a group of 20 city and county officials, all involved in sports tourism. Thursday, they met to talk about the Grand Strand's new sports complexes and the role they play in our economy. Matt Gibson is a superintendent of the new North Myrtle Beach Sports Complex. He says this year the city will see an economic impact of $14.5 million. 365 days a year, something's going on. And something to add to that list is the Myrtle Beach Sports Center that's expected to open up in March of 2015. Basketball facility, but it can be converted into 16 volleyball courts and additional uh, games and sports that can take place on flat surfaces, wrestling, gymnastics, cheer. John McDonald, general manager of the center, says he expects the new facility to lure in people from out of town during the off season. For all the businesses in the area, um, during those fall and winter months where things slow down, he says sports offers more than an economic boost. It also teaches children lifelong lessons. Tool for kids, it teaches them everything from leadership, integrity, uh, sportsmanship, teamwork. Exactly what Lawson Holland is teaching his students in the hopes sports tourism will provide them with a lifelong career. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Courtney Griffin, WPDE News Channel 15.